Hey Zoology, here we go. This is a wonderful model of a chicken. And so this will be true, the anatomy that we see here is true for a chicken, it's truly true for any bird. Uh, the size of things may vary, but the orientation of things will not. So if we go right up here towards the head, right, we can see where the mouth is. This obviously is the brain. And so food's gonna come in here and air. We see two separate tubes going down here. So this is gonna be the trachea, going all the way down, the blue tube. Behind the trachea is the esophagus, no, the esophagus, same thing, right? So the esophagus, that's where food's gonna go down, and it's going to expand into this region down here, which is known as the crop. Let's move this. Okay, so now we're looking in here. And so uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go over everything that we see here, and then I'm gonna start taking stuff out of the model so that we can really get a good look at it. So we have the trachea, we have the esophagus expanded into the crop. I can see the lung, the liver. This is the ovary and I can see eggs in the ovary. This chicken is about to lay egg. Well, if only it weren't a model. And so this egg is found inside the oviduct and it will pass out the opening here, which is known as the cloaca. The digestive system that I can see here, well, I can certainly see some intestine. So I happen to have some small intestine here and then the large intestine is what's going to connect up. So we see the oviduct here and the large intestine here coming together. So the cloaca is that common opening, okay, for both wastes and reproductive. Uh, I can also see part of the uh, gizzard right here, but that's kind of hard to see with everything all together. So this is the lung, did I say that? And uh, I'm gonna take the lung off because I can and I see that I can follow the esophagus down. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the whole body out. Okay, and I'm going to remove the chicken model. And now let's just focus on this right here. Okay, so this is just the internal anatomy of a bird. And I kind of like this because I can move it around and I can really see things. So I know that this was the esophagus. And now I can see how that esophagus expands. Oops, I'm losing my liver. Okay, so see how the esophagus, oops, let me move down here. It expands and this is the crop. Okay, so let's turn it over again here. Uh, once upon a time, this model had seeds uh, stuck right on here. That's why it's kind of weird looking. Uh, the seeds came off because it's plastic. Uh, but there would be seeds inside the crop of a actual bird, okay? If it wasn't a uh, carnivore, that is. All right, so esophagus is gonna go down and it's going to connect to the proventriculus. This is the equivalent of a stomach, right? So again, so here's my liver, okay, that came off. So let's take them off again. Okay, and I'm just gonna put them to the side. And now I'm gonna take out the proventriculus gizzard. It's tight, but I can do it. Oh. I know I can do it. <laughs> Maybe I can do it. I don't wanna break the model, but I want this out. Okay, here we go, phew. All right, so we could see how that was, right? That was attached right here. So this is the proventriculus. And then this large muscular uh, portion is the gizzard. Okay, so that's going to grind up the seeds uh, with a little bit of sand. And so next time you buy a chicken, I want you to look for the gizzard. It usually comes uh, as the giblets that you can find in the extra package. You get uh, usually liver, uh, gizzards, and heart. So look for that. It has this very, this uh, connective tissue. It makes it very chewy <laughs> if you eat it. Um, they always cut it and clean out all the sand. Thank you. Okay. So that's the gizzard. We see a lovely spleen right there. And then I can follow in the very first part that leaves, where does it leave? Right here, okay? So it goes proventriculus, gizzard, and then the tube, I can follow it right here. See, it comes out. That is the duodenum, so part of the small intestine. We can see the pancreas right through there and the duodenum's coming around and the duodenum is then going to connect up and into the inside there. Oh, well, let's look inside there. Let's see, can I look at it? Oh yeah, a little bit of light makes a big difference. And so when I look in here, oh yes, I know I could see it before, 
right? I was just kind of messing around. The heart is right here. So let's take a look at that heart. We can see the uh, atria here and the ventricle. We can't tell that it's a four chambered heart necessarily from this model, but it is. Okay, but I can definitely see the atrium and the ventricle of the heart. Looking deeper and back, I can see the liver and see multiple lobed, same color. That's the liver. I got this green thing back there. Guess what that is? Exactly, the gallbladder, okay? Now we got all kinds of intestine, right? Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. And then this yellow stuff in between. Well, the yellow stuff is fat, okay? So this is gonna be small intestines. So somewhere in here is the ileum and the gingenum. I think on your list, you just have to know small intestine. The last part of the intestine that's on its way out, of course, is gonna be the large intestine. And notice it's not really that large. All right, so let's go back to the oviduct, excuse me, the ovary. There are little eggs in there. Uh, and so we have an ovary here. And then towards the back, look at that, right against the spinal cord, that's the kidney. Okay? Yeah, it's an adrenal gland that's not on your list, but there's the kidney. Okay? Uh, the only other thing you have to know from your list has to do with some musculature. And so I want you to know the breast muscle, which is the pectoralis major. And then you have to know the uh, supracoracoideus which is the smaller muscle, and this isn't really well labeled here. We really can't tell that this is the supracoracoideus. It's, you can tell it on, that's what you would buy as your chicken tenders, and we can definitely see it on the um, dissection. Okay, so that's all the internal parts of a chicken or a bird on this model. I'll take some pictures of this and uh, put that on the quiz.